Knives 23 here, and today I got five, five new knives to show y'all. And before we get into it, if you didn't catch my review of the Remiti WD-107, uh, I posted yesterday or the day before, depending on when this comes out. Um, I now have the discount code 15% off in the description. Uh, it just took him a while to send it to me, so I apologize for that. But this thing blew me away. Um, action, the cutting ability, how well it held up, just overall aesthetics, toughness of the button lock, just a very, very nice knife. And uh, definitely go check out that review if you hadn't seen it. I've been carrying the uh, Vosti Gator a lot. This thing's a beast, but it's definitely a fun one to carry. You got all kinds of different opening methods, and these are still available. I will leave links to everything down in the description that is available. Um, this this is the Devo uh, Pony Stout, and uh, I just finished up testing on this one. The review's coming soon. I'm trying to wait till the drop is uh, almost here, so y'all will uh, have a reminder. But, I mean, spoiler, I love it. So this one's coming. Now, let's get into the new stuff. We have a brand new Sin Cut, and this is the new Sin Cut Mims. And man, oh man, I think I may have a new favorite Sin Cut. So you got flipper deployment, rockets out, and it, it kind of resembles the uh, Honoris a little bit. However, uh, this one has an even slicier blade. I measured it at around 13 thousandths in this area right here. Super thin little slicer, very lightweight. This is going to be an outstanding EDC knife. I'm sure it's going to come in like the 40 something dollar price range because this is 9CR18. They do a good job with it. Beautiful drop point, low tip there, so the belly's not going to be crazy. Comfortable ergos. I can choke up on it. Uh, if you have fat sausage fingers, you may not be able to choke up on it, but I can. Um, you got a deep carry tip up left or right hand pocket clip. Love that thumb hole. Excellent. This is an awesome little knife. Uh, definitely excited to do the testing on this one. One thing that I wish they would have done different is you see how the black wash is on this. It kind of lightens up the blade a little. Hopefully that's coming across. You can actually see the stone wash a lot better on this one. This one's almost just like a black coating, but it has a very light tumble, it looks like. I mean, maybe it doesn't. I, it it kind of it looks like it does, but you can see the difference in the two blades, how dark this one is. It does look nice with this dark green uh, micarta. They definitely have other variations of this as well available. It was kind of late to the game, but I got some new CJRBs. This is the CJRB Echo. Echo, 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 Echo. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> nice, beautiful contoured micarta scales. One thing that I'm hoping is that CJRB doesn't start using, you know, more of this. I, they used to be my favorite uh, when it came to budget knives because they used the good micarta. Uh, I just prefer the American-style micarta better. Um, this one doesn't look bad or anything, but overall, I've been enjoying this one. Front flipper, uh, I went with the liner lock because I prefer a liner lock over a button lock. Good reverse flick. Uh, deep carry left or right handed pocket clip. Excellent, excellent blade shape on this. Beautiful, beautiful blade shape. This is in there AR PM9 stainless steel. Beautiful uh, stone wash, and this is a Ray Laconico design. It's also a front flipper, and they did a good job of putting it above the scale so you got some good leverage. Even though they don't have grippy jimping right there, it doesn't really matter. You can easily do it because of how high it is. So that's that one. I had to pick up the new Pyrite. <laughs> now, CJRB is supposed to be sending me um, two, of, two of these and some other stuff. Uh, I was they, they had forgot about me. So whatever they send me, I'll probably give away, being that I bought these myself. And I'll say um, my Pyrite in G10, if the stainless steel ones are this good, then I think it may have just been the G10 ones because this thing, not only is it solid, but just watch this action. I mean, this thing comes rocketing out. And as you can see, I have started the testing on this knife. Also an AR RPM 9 steel. I like this one a lot because of that, that nice pokey tip. Now, one thing that I was kind of bummed out about this one is you can see the edge. Look at this funky edge up there at the front. Hold on, let's see. <laughs> And it shows a lot more because of the black coating, but that is nasty. 
Very, very nasty. Still razor sharp though. They did it on both sides. Pretty darn wonky. But so far I've been enjoying the knife. The action is just addictive and that sound, it just thwacks open. The weight's okay. Um, it's not my, stainless isn't my favorite handle material, but you know, on this it's nice and classy. The price is right. You know, overall button lock action is outstanding. Yeah, they got, they got a winner on these two. Next one's a Bohemoth that I picked up myself. This is the new O-Knife Heron L1, I think it is. Beautiful action. And I, I just wanted to pick it up because I just thought it was a cool looking folder. And I think it's going to be quite useful. Because this right here is a deep, deep hollow grind that comes down. It feels like nice and thin right here. And then you have a flat grind for, you know, some uh, added thickness to that tip. Super pokey, pokey tip right there. Just an overall mean looking knife. It's got a gun stock handle. And this uh, tire tread G10 pattern offers excellent, excellent traction. It's not overly aggressive. And for me to say that, you know, you could pretty much, you know, know that you should be able to use it. Now, I haven't started testing this one, you know, like hard or anything. So I can't speak, you know, definitely on it. But so far, it feels good. That wider handle fills out the hand. You got a nice deep cut clip here. Yeah, the action's awesome on this thing. It's breaking in nicely. I wish they would have went with a uh, uh, black washed blade. I'm not a fan of just the, you know, the black coating. But it doesn't look bad here. Blue accents. Yeah, this is a pretty beastly knife. I like it. <laughs> I'm saving the best for last. And I was so happy I was able to get one of these. And boy, didn't disappoint. And this is the Tuya and Jim Skelton Kaladin. And at first, I, I thought I wasn't, I thought I was going to hate this part right here. It just kind of throws my OCD off. <laughs> but I have not cared about it in the least. I got the jig pattern. This is the only version he had left. And uh, like I said, I was late to the game. I love his, uh, his logo pivot right there. Hidden lanyard uh, spot back here. This pocket clip is absolute perfection. Just look at the contouring. Hopefully that's coming across. They melted it all the way down right there. It looks so nice. Stays away from the uh, lock bar cutout. Well executed flipper tab to where you got a nice spot to put your finger. You got some nice jimping that is uh, not overly aggressive or anything. And this thing comes out fast. I love, love that blade shape. S90 V steel. Super, super comfortable because you have contour titanium. Access to lock bar is excellent because they cut out a little bit more on this show side scale. And they put you a little bit of texture right there. Super easy to get my finger in there. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. Um, I think he may be out of these right now to you and Jim. But he did say that there's another batch with a whole different uh, set of materials coming soon. So if you missed out on the first run and you were wanting to get one, stay tuned. I will put a link to um, Jim's Instagram so you can message him if you want to ask him, you know, if he has any details or when they're coming out. But yeah, I've been really, really enjoying this one. It's been in the pocket since I got it the other day. And yeah, and I'm not even the biggest flipper fan, but this one is just yummy. So that is all the new stuff that we got in in the last uh, week or so. Um, I, I'll be honest, I think I'm excited about every one of these. Um, I had kind of had a burnout period here recently just to where nothing was really exciting me at all. Uh, I was pretty close to taking a break for a while. Um but I, I gotta say this last week, you know, with this knife right here, it just, it, it, it always excites me whenever something does way better than I expected it to do. And just an overall good knife. I think it looks good as well. You know, this one's fun. <laughs> These really put a smile on my face. You know, we got a lot of cool, cool stuff coming. This one, this one is going to be a, a hot seller. I can tell you that. The Devo. Pony Stout. Q, I mean, Kubi has been just absolutely knocking these out of the park. 
So there you go. Let me know what you'd like to see a video on first. I'll try my best to get that done. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace. Uh...